Praised be Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in the face of what happened today, that is, in the face of the war between Russia and Ukraine, it should be remembered that it was announced in the messages published on this channel. Those following them knew what to expect, the attack and the suffering coming from the East, and that's exactly where the suffering comes from. Many people mocked these messages, questioned their truthfulness, claiming that none of them had come true. Now you can see with your own eyes that these predictions have come true in front of your eyes. It's not about criticizing you, those who made fun of it. The point is for you to consider whether these announcements are actually failing, which is a clear proof of the truthfulness of the messages published on this channel. I do not prejudge their overall truthfulness. However, I would like to say that the announcement of suffering coming from the East is, unfortunately, coming true in front of our eyes. After this introduction, I invite you to recall one of the most recent messages on the war that was published on this channel and which needs to be recalled here. Today I invite you to listen to the message of Saint Michael the Archangel, his handmaid lose to Maria of February 6th this year. The message is accompanied by a commentary by lose to Maria which you will hear at the end of the recording. Beloved of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, in love and faith towards Almighty, be life for every heart. I am calling you to look at what is happening on earth, not just what you are experiencing in your own square meter. This blindness leads to the ignorance of those who say nothing is happening. The earth is in darkness. This darkness does not come from outside, but from the wrong conduct that dwells inside a person. You are going through a time when infidelity took hold of the environment in which man lives, and the man accepted it with joy which leads him to great meanness. Hell spirits develop their strategies by knowing man and his weakness against the sins of the flesh, unleashing a storm of immorality so that they surpass the sins of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mankind's infidelity to the Most Holy Trinity and to our Queen and Mother of the End Times is shocking. However, with fear and horror you will see the cause of the church's schism. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, unfaithfulness to God makes a man of science choose to use science to do evil to his own brothers. The military might of the greatest powers is something you should fear because they possess in their possession tools of destruction not yet revealed to mankind, which possess great power of destruction. Families have turned into places of individualism and cruelty, despair, and not shaping love, this is the result conceived by the enemy consistent with what the elite expected. There is still suffering for mankind. There are strange sounds coming from the ground, it is the grinding of tectonic plates preparing for the next earthquake. The earth has been poisoned by the sins of human generations. As part of humanity, you know that a third world war awaits you, which you fear. People of God, the powers burn one another with anger. Wars have their interests at their heart, and at the moment the weak economy of one power and the desire for territorial expansion of the other power, which spread its ideology across the globe, 
spreading communism and social revolutions that are finally part of the introduction to war, prevail. For the people of God, the disease that ravages all mankind is part of the silent war that started the Third World War. Pay attention to the signs, see how nature takes over the earth and makes man suffer. The elements do not give you rest. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Be aware that confabulation and conspiracy are arising against some world-renowned figures, unleashing a fury between the great powers. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray. Rome suffers to excess. Italy is suffering greatly. Pray. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray without rest, pray actively doing God's will, in the image of God's action and conduct. Practice brotherly love, feed on the body and blood of our Divine Redeemer present in the Holy Eucharist, love our Queen and Mother, pray the Holy Rosary. Prepare to be true children of God, be love first of all, be obedient, and keep the faith, even though you are afraid of what you see. Don't lose faith. Be persistent in staying on your way to what seems easy and safe. God's people are never left without protection. We are ready to defend you against the powers of hell so that evil does not defeat you. God's blessing is made ever present over his faithful children. Do not be afraid, keep in your place the certainty of God's power, which is above all power. Our Queen and Mother remain steadfast above the humanity that will enter chaos, and through God's plan, she will intervene in the moment of desolation as the mother of divine mercy to help God's children. In the unity of the sacred hearts, I bless you. Prepare yourselves, children of God, and convert now. Receive the love from above. Saint Michael the Archangel Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Comment by Luz de Maria. Brothers, united as the mystical body of Christ, let us pray. O most glorious Saint Archangel Michael, Prince and Leader of the Heavenly Armies, Guardian and Protector of Souls, Guardian of the Church, Victor and Terror of the Rebel Spirits of Hell. We humbly beg you, deign to free us from all evil, who we turn to you with trust. Let your favor protect us, let your strength protect us, and, thanks to your incomparable protection, let us proceed more and more in the service of the Lord. May your strength strengthen us every day of our lives, and especially in the struggle of death, that we, defended by your power against the hell dragon and against all its snares, when we leave this world, may be presented by you, free from all guilt, before the Divine Majesty. Amen.